Good evening. First tonight, the federal government begins dismantling its unpopular budget. This evening, there were more angry scenes, this time at an informal caucus meeting in Canberra. Faced with a new and damaging rebellion, the government was forced to delay scheduled talks with Democrat and Green senators. The shape and scope of the government's budget climb down became clear after a stormy meeting tonight between Paul Keating, the Treasurer, and Labor's caucus economic committee. With backbenchers threatening open revolt, even the Prime Minister's strongest party room backers turned on the leadership. We had what, what could be uh, described as a full and frank exchange. The informal caucus meeting was told the first round of personal income tax will be delayed by two weeks to pay for the budget concession. As expected, the package includes the cancellation of an extra three cents a litre impost on leaded fuel, restored Medicare rebates for eye tests and changes to the tax treatment of untaken long service leave. As well, the Treasurer will reconsider the inclusion of shares in the pensions assets test. The government listened, the Prime Minister and the Treasurer listened to our views and they were prepared to take them on board. The caucus showdown delayed Paul Keating's budget talks with the Democrats leader Cheryl Curnow, who earlier made it clear the government's tax cuts can't stay as they are. The restructuring of the tax cuts is absolutely fundamental to our proposals. It's the only way in which I believe they can find the money. Tonight the Prime Minister spent more than an hour with the Democrats trying to nut out agreement on the budget. He's still in talks with the two West Australian Green Senators whose support is also necessary if the budget is to get past the Senate. Peter Lloyd, 10 Eyewitness News.